75 years ago, this historic moment changed lives and firefighting as we know it in Effingham. A massive fire spread throughout HSHS St. Anthony's. Now the victims are forever being honored on hospital grounds. WCI3's Amanda Brennan has a story from our town Effingham. April 4th, 1949. The call come in around 11, 11.30 that night. Fire and flames engulfing HSHS St. Anthony's Hospital in our town Effingham, killing 77 people. They did determine that it originated in the basement and first went up through the laundry chute. 27 departments responded that night, and this was one of the trucks that was there, and this ladder here on the top rescued people from a few of those top floors. They couldn't get to everybody. They told people to jump. And as a former chief himself? Something like that. I, I, I can't imagine what those guys went through that night. Nick Althoff and Jim Walters are with the Retired Volunteer Firefighters Association. They know the building structure was one reason it spread and spread. Wood, uh, you know, a lot of wood paneling and so forth. Uh, heavy varnish over the gears. Uh, open stairways, open hallways. Engineers and firefighters learned a lot from this tragedy. It's why there are so many new building codes today. The biggest thing is the sprinkler system building and then also they enclosed the stairwells. They put fire doors, you know, uh, on the stairwells. Over the years, I think it saved a lot of lives. But even with updates and changes, many will never forget that night. My mother-in-law was in the fire. She had a baby that day. All the babies were lost. She saw flames down the hallway and crews told her to jump. Some of the staff had put mattresses down on the ground for them to jump on. Now there's a way to make sure those who died in the flames will never be forgotten. For all the people that worked in the hospital, the people that responded that night. This memorial now stands tall just outside the hospital. And I think it was a healing thing for the community. But for those who were on the ground that night. When we got on, there were still two or three or four yeah. Uh, firefighters that had fought that fire. It will always be an emotional thing to talk about. They wouldn't talk about it. You bring the subject up, they'd walk away. And now, 75 years later, the memories still live on. It, it means a lot to us, and obviously it means a lot to the citizens of Effingham and Effingham County. Reporting in our town, Effingham, Amanda Brennan, WCIA 3, your local news leader. The statue stands near the hospital's healing garden by the Prairie Heart Institute right off Maple Street.